Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our webinar today. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're broadcasting here from the Southern Highlands in New South Wales, where finally it's a sunny day. So we're all very excited and disappointed to be inside doing a webinar on this gorgeous day. Um, I hope that it's not raining too much where you are and um, you're all safe and well. Um, thank you for joining us on our webinar. We have, um, I'm just gonna actually give you my face. <laughs> Um, yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Today on our webinar, we're going to be doing three things. We're going to look at our two big purple phone editions, our talk and text edition and our family and friends edition. And then we're going to have a look at the big purple phone app. So that's our plan for today. The reason we started the big purple phone was because during COVID, uh, my mum was uh, locked in hospital during uh, the lockdowns and my family and I struggled to get hold of her and she struggled with her phone um, and through the course of going through that experience and talking to others and trying to find a solution we realized that there's quite a lot of people that uh, either have dementia or are just struggling with their mobile phones and the phones today don't really don't provide um, the right kind of solution so we went about finding one and when we couldn't find one, we went about creating one. And so we created the Big Purple Phone. Now today, I'm gonna to start by asking you um, a just a question to start, because it helps me to know uh, who's here with us. So um, can I ask you first off, if you're asked looking at the Big Purple Phone for uh, maybe uh, a parent or a grandparent or a friend, a client, a patient, or, or if you're looking for yourself, you might wanna put other. Um, it just helps us to know when we're giving the presentation uh, how to how to pitch the presentation so it's the right level for all of you. Okay, so I can see actually everybody here on the webinar today is uh, looking for a parent or a uh, mother or a father. So thank you very much for that. Um, that does help us. Okay, so without further ado, I will jump into the presentation. What I'll do is show you each of the um, phones one at a time. I'm going to explain it to you first and then demonstrate it to you. So let me share my screen. I'd also encourage you as we go through this presentation that there is a chat on the left-hand side. So if you if you do have a question, please pop it in there. Um, I should have introduced Guy. So we have Guy Moroni here with me. Guy is there uh, to help us with our presentation today. He'll moderate any questions and might interrupt me if there's something that is, is important that comes up in the webinar. So thank you, Guy, for being here with me today. And I can thank just you, see, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I can just see in the last few minutes a few more people have joined us. So um, welcome to the presentation today. You haven't missed too much in the first few minutes. I really just said hello. So um, without further ado, we shall continue on. So we talk about the big purple phone as being no fandangle. Uh, the phone itself is designed to be very simple and straightforward for, uh, for those, we, we say over the age of 75, but we have a real mix of people that buy our phone. Uh, early onset dementia is an issue for some people. So we have people in their 50s who use the phone um, and right up into their 90s. Either way, it's no fandangle. So I'm going to show you today three things. Uh, the talk and text edition, which is our entry level phone. Uh, and I'm going to demonstrate that. And I'm going to talk about our family and friends edition. And then I'm going to show you that. And then we're going to look at the big purple phone app. And I'm going to show you that. Now, for those that have just joined, if you can see on the left hand side, there is a sort of chat bar there. If you could let us know if you're looking for yourself or for someone else, um, then that helps me to make sure I'm delivering the presentation with the right kind of information for you. Now, we have two great phones to choose from in the big purple phone range. The first one is our talk and text edition. Now the talk and text edition is ideal for if you're buying for yourself. Um, it's a much simpler phone, it's just talk and text. Um, administering and managing the phone is simpler and um, it just requires the one person to manage it. So that's what I'm going to show you first. And then our second phone is our family and friends edition. Now the family and friends edition is partnered with the app so that you can remotely manage your phone with the app. Now that's ideal if you've got a carer or a husband or an adult child and a, um, and a senior and they remotely manage the phone. So I will go through this in more detail as we go through, but they're the two phones and the difference between them. 
So first of all, let me tell you about the Big Purple Phone Talk and Text Edition. When it first logs on, it has a very big, everything you'll notice with the Big Purple Phone is big text. And, uh, and it's a very simple startup. It says, good morning. It gives you a brief weather update and it's personalized. So it says, good morning to the person who owns the phone. Um, in the top right-hand corner, you'll see that there's a emergency button. Now I'm gonna show you that and how it works as we go through the presentation, but it's always in the top right-hand corner. Now, one of the things people ask us straight away is, oh, will that get bumped accidentally? Now we know from usability principles that that top right-hand corner is the least touched place on the screen. Um, so, and there are some safety measures to stop it being triggered as it goes through um, being pressed. So I will show you that as we go along. After the welcome screen, you go to the home screen. Now the home screen on the big purple phone is what we're known for. It's actually a long ribbon of, um, of big buttons with all the features on the phone. So the first thing you come to is phone. And because this is the talk and text edition, the two things that are available are talk and text. Very straightforward. So I'm gonna click on phone. With the big purple phone, the way it works is that it's very visually driven. So with all the contacts that you have on the big purple phone, they come up their face and their name underneath. So very easy for those, particularly with dementia and with some cognitive decline, to find the contact that they're trying to find. So you click on it and it literally calls the call straight away. Now, that might look very simple and straightforward, which it is, but if you think about your mobile phone and the process to go about making a phone call, you need to turn the phone on, unlock it, which might require a bit of a swipe or a code, and then the phone icon might be very small and in the corner, and when you go into it, it's text, and it can be written in a number of different ways, and it's not always the same the way it comes up. So it might be alphabetical, it might be recent calls. Now, for those of us who are, um, who are able to manage that level of technology, that's fine. But as we get older and as our um, cognitive decline increases, that is too much. So the Big Purple Phone is designed to be very simple and very straightforward to get into and to make a phone call. Now, one thing I said there was that we have no passwords on the Big Purple Phone and no passcodes and no locks. Now that's deliberate and intentional. We keep no personal information on the Big Purple Phone. Uh, so that makes it very easy for you to get in and get out without compromising your um, security. Uh, there's no banking, there's no passwords. Um, so it's by stripping away all that information and not putting it in there, it means the phone is much, uh, much safer. So I will talk about safety and security a bit more. So if I were to click on, if I were to make a phone call out to someone who isn't a contact, you just click on the dialer. And then as you can see, it's a nice big screen with big buttons. And uh, you'll see down the bottom here, we always have instructions. Now with the big purple phone, it's designed so that there's always, whenever there's something to do, there's instructions for how to do it. Uh, we know from research that uh, a lot of our seniors get afraid to click on things because they're afraid as to what's gonna happen next. So with the big purple phone, we make sure we always have instructions. And in most cases, the buttons are labeled with what it does. So um, that helps um, that helps our seniors to find their way through. Um, something else I'll point out is that all the buttons look like buttons. Modern screen design is very flat and uh, that can be quite disorientating. It looks pretty, but a button quite often needs to feel and look like a button for people to use it. So I will show you as we do the demo. Now, many of our seniors report to us that they struggle with uh, actually with, with touch screens because it just doesn't, they have trouble getting it to swipe or to respond when they touch it. Now that's because touch screens work in a way that you need a certain amount of moisture in the skin for it to work. And as we get older, our skin gets drier. So quite often the touch sensitivity on smartphones just doesn't work. So we've done two things with the Big Purple phone to try and resolve that problem for our seniors. The first thing is that we have included with the phone a stylus. And actually, I mean, I usually have one with me, but I didn't keep one with me, but you can see it here. Um, so it's a pen, but at the end is a, is, a, um, is a soft pad, which you can use to touch and swipe with the screen. So if you struggle with that, you've got a device to do it. Secondly, we've designed the navigation and all the buttons on the screen on the phone, so you don't actually have to swipe at all. You can just tap. 
and that does make it easier. Um, the other thing is that the phone turns itself on and off with just a button press. Um, there's not complicated processes. There's not a, you know, a patent drawer or to type in. So I'm going to show you that with a demo in just a moment. Messages on the Big Purple phone are also much simpler. We've redesigned and rethought the way messages are used and designed it in a way that is suitable for those who are using the phone. So similarly to when you're making a phone call, it's all face-driven, so this would be a contact in the phone, and you have a choice if, if you want to speak a message or type a message. Now, this is a feature that is uncommon. Um, it's commonly on smartphones today, but with the big purple phone, it's very easy to find those two features. I think if you imagine what your keyboard is like on your keypad, it's very hard to find that little microphone. We've redesigned the way uh, the keypad is, to, is visually represented and the way it works. So on regular smartphones, you've got many layers of a keyboard. If you want to use an exclamation mark or sometimes a emoji, you need to go and find another layer to the keypad. But with the big purple phone, we've chosen 10 popular emojis and 10 popular special characters, and it's all on the same screen. So it's enough. It's enough for, um, for those who are just chatting with family and friends to be able to communicate successfully. They're bigger buttons, they're high contrast, they feel like buttons, and they're easier to see. The other option is if you want to speak a message, oops, what happened there? Oops, sorry. If you want to speak a message, there's a countdown, you speak it, and it types the message for you and then sends it. So I will show you that actually in the demo in a few minutes' time. The other thing that we have with Big Purple Phone, which is a fantastic feature, is that all the notifications that come in on the phone are full screen takeovers. So a text message on your phone is probably a little blue dot. Um, it might come down and go away, or it might be notifications that are at the top of your screen. Often they're very hard to find. And we report, get reported from many families and people that, that speak with us that their senior never gets to the phone, or if they get to the phone, they don't know what's happened when they get there. So we leave, it, leave them in no doubt that a text message has arrived, and all they need to do is tap on the text message, and then they go and tap on this, and then they go to the text message. Much, much simpler. The same thing happens if a voicemail arrives, or if they have a missed call. I mean, if it's a missed call, they just click on the button to call them back. So rather than having to go and find the, the contact and then remember to call them back, the button's right there. The other thing with the low battery, uh, the notification I know on my Motorola is I think about one or two millimetres high in the very top right hand corner, very hard to see. So we again leave our customers in no doubt that the phone, that the phone needs charging. I would say the battery life on our phone is excellent, it's two days. Things like taking a photo are much simpler because we label our buttons and our buttons look like buttons. The Big Purple Phone is a medical alert device as well as a phone. So the great thing about the Big Purple Phone is when you click on the emergency button, it does a couple of things. It dials triple zero, but it also sends a text message to your emergency contacts to let you know the location and that your loved one has activated the emergency button. So a great feature. Now I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'll stop sharing my screen for a minute. Now, I have to say, I'm terrible at doing this back to front. I always, I do my best. <laughs> so let me show you. This is the big purple phone here. Okay, let's get it in a nice sort of place for you. There we go. So as you can see, it's nice and big. It's a 6.82 inch screen, which is a really great size. And as I mentioned before, it's this lovely long ribbon. I love a dementia patient when they first pick this up because they love swishing it up and down. But if they can't use that touch sensitivity that I talked about, you can always just tap up and down and you can hear that noise as it goes through. So there's no, they're not left in any doubt as to what's happened when they click on something. So as I mentioned, the big purple phone is here. You click on that and then there's all your contacts loaded. You have the option to set recent calls if you want to have zero recent calls at the top or three or six people. So if your senior only calls people, you know, the same six people all the time, then they always come up at the top. So that's a good thing. So to make a phone call, I'm going to call my husband here and I'll actually hang up. He'll probably call me back. <laughs> you can hear it ringing in the other office. <laughs> yeah, so that's, um, that's that. Let's put that back into focus. 
so yeah, that's the, that's making a phone call is very simple. And I mentioned before, there's this um, where, uh, there's the keypad there. So I've got recent calls set to come up at the bottom, and as you can see, they're really big buttons. So yeah, very easy to use. There's always this home button. When a call comes through, it looks like that. I think I'll decline it. <laughs> he knows I'm in a demo. So I was just going to show you whenever you're anywhere in the Big Purple phone, he sent me a text message. So I will just ignore that for now. Um, so yeah, when you're in the Big Purple phone, you've got this, um, you've always got this emergency button everywhere that you are, and you've got this home button. So you can always make your way back home. Oops, sorry. So as our customers start to use the phone, it's a very simple one step in and one step out. So you've got one step into the functionality and then one step back out to the, um, to the home screen. So really, it, you know, it doesn't take a lot to get used to it. Um, get that text message is here. So when you have, um, when you want to send a text message, you probably just texted me a minute ago. We're going to do it this way. Um, you can see he sent me a text message. Well, actually, he rang me. So there you go. Now, if I want to text him, I'm just going to type it back to front. So I've just typed that in and I'm going to hit send, hopefully. Um, and I'm sure he'll text me back in a minute. Anyway, I think you get the idea. I mentioned also that you can speak a message. So on the phone call. So I can now see that he's texted me. So I'm going to go in and have a look at send. And he's gone, yes. <laughs> Doesn't quite make sense to hello, but anyway. Um, so here, I'm going to speak message back to him. So I'm going to press this, press this button here. You can see it's counting down. Hi, James. Don't text me back. Okay, so I hope you can see that. And I'm going to click send. So you can see that's how that works. Nice and simple. So I'm going to go back to the home screen now. So on the talk and text phone, as I mentioned, the main features really are the talk and the text, but there are some other simple features on the phone. So you can take a photo, you can store your photos. Let's see what he said. <laughs> he said, okay. Got to love a um, bit of humour in that. <laughs> um, okay, so all your photos are just stored locally. Um, if you imagine uh, it's just a talk and text phone, so you're not sharing photos or anything like that, but it's you can you can store photos locally. Um, there's the torch there, so it's a very simple torch. It just works like that. It's simpler. You can access your billing information, and of course, there's a code to check in. So very, very simple features on the talk and text phone. And I will just demonstrate for you how the emergency works before you leave the talk and text phone. So up here in the, in the corner here, you've got that button. Now, when you click on the button, the first thing that happens is that a text message is sent to your emergency contacts. So I'm just going to do that. So that text message is gone, but then you've got this 10 second countdown before it calls triple zero. And then even after that, you need to wait for it, click on the green button. So this is the system dialer. This sends um, the, your location information to emergency services. And it also provides your location information to the to the loved one that's using the phone. So I'm just going to clear out that. So there you are. So I'm going to pause for a sec and just ask you if you have any questions about the talk and text phone at this point in time, um, and give you a chance just to type them in or to um, get to type them in. And I will just share the cost with you. So the talk and text phone is you buy the phone, which is five hundred and ninety nine dollars. And then there is a monthly subscription to the Big Purple Phone system. And that includes local calls and local texts. So uh, that's software, the emergency services. We have a great support team here. Um, and so that's what that is. So it's $599 to buy the phone. And then you're on a $29.90 month subscription. And that includes all your calls and SMS within Australia. So, okay, well, I don't have any questions on that, which is good. So you can ask questions at any point in time. So um, don't have to rush to ask them if you don't want to now. Well, I will move on to explain a little bit more about our product range. And I'll tell you about our family and friends phone. So we've talked about the talk and text phone, and now we're going to talk about family and friends. Right, so family and friends was the phone that we first designed when we designed the big purple phone. 
uh, the reason was, was, as I mentioned at the very beginning of the presentation, when my mum was in hospital, we wanted to video chat with her. She was locked down for several months and, and we couldn't, she couldn't get it together to make it work. Zoom was too hard. Um, so this was one of the features we really wanted to have on the phone was the simplest way for her to just click on a button and be able to video call us. Um, we live two hours away from mum, so it's turned out to be a feature that we continue to enjoy with her. There are other things that are available on the family and friends phone, which I'm going to take you through now. So the family and friends phone, we talk about it being four things in one, really. So it's a smartphone, as you've seen so far with the talk and text, but it's also got a secure social network around it. Um, so this is a fantastic feature on the Big Purple Phone Family and Friends Edition. Um, so many of our seniors are no longer on Instagram or on Facebook, but our families and our friends are. So we have this nice way of sharing photos and video chatting with our seniors through secure apps that, we, that work with the Big Purple Phone. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate that for you today. Of course, it's a medical alert device, which I've already shown you. Um, it's also a technical support service. Uh, I know um, from myself and my family and certainly um, my friends and their parents that we're quite often the technical support team for our seniors. So Big Purple Phone takes that responsibility from you and we, we help your senior with their phone. Uh, so if they have any questions with the, with the Family and Friends Edition, there's a button where they can instantly call us and we can help. Also, um, we're there to help you as the administrator of the phone. So there's a much, much more than just a mobile phone when you're buying the, um, the Big Purple Phone Family and Friends Edition. It looks very similar to the Talk and Text Edition. The main difference is the first thing that comes up underneath the phone is this video chat feature. Again, it's facial driven. So you click on the face of the person that you know, and then it just calls them. So very straightforward and very simple. So again, just on the home screen, you click on video call, you click on the face, and then that just goes straight through to them. Now that is much, much simpler than, um, than anything else that is on the market. Now, if your loved one, if somebody calls you, uh, your loved one, and they miss the call again, so it's not a tiny little notification somewhere that they can't find on the phone. Um, there's a nice big screen takeover that says, would you like to call the person back and you've missed a video call? So very easy and straightforward. Now, this is the feature I told you about. There's this help button. Um, so I'm going to demo that for you in a minute. The other thing we do with Big Purple Phone is all our, all our phone uh, services are provided through Telstra. So you no longer have to worry about phoning Telstra if you have an outage or if you have any issues, we do that for you. So you just phone us. We're um, based here in the Southern Highlands where we have our support team. We'll log the call for you and we'll follow that up and, and deal with you on that. So no longer will you need to deal with many departments within, um, within Telstra, we can, we can do that for you. Well, we do do that for you. The other thing we do is uh, you might have a mobile number that you've had for a long time and you want to keep that which you can do with the Big Purple Phone. So we arrange to port the number over so that it works on the Big Purple Phone. So anything like that, we, we help. This is, uh, I mentioned the, the family and friends social secure network. Now, photo sharing is a nice feature. You can leave comments, you can like photos. So it's a lovely feature on the Big Purple Phone. We also have reminders uh, that you can set up on the Big Purple Phone, which I'll show you when we do the app. Um, reminders for daily things, but also for annual things like birthdays and anniversaries. Whenever a new photo is shared, you get a big screen takeover as well. So I will stop sharing that for a minute and show you the Family and Friends Edition. So, okay, so again, like I said, it's very similar to the Talk and Text Edition in the way it navigates. You've always got your descriptions down the bottom. You've got your buttons that you can tap or you can swipe. So very similar. But then, as I mentioned before, you've got this video feature. Now I'm going to initiate a video call, which I won't answer because I'm phoning me. In terms of his, he loves his coffee. So, um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's how that, it's very simple. From And if the phone call comes in, a video call comes in from somebody, then you can see it's like a big, you know, big screen um, takeover that says that if you've got a video call coming. So um, messages is much the same as you saw before. And camera is, um, I didn't actually show you the camera, I showed you a picture of it. So 
So the main thing with, that's great about the camera is that you've got this zoom feature on this here so you can go in and out. You don't have to pinch so you're not relying on that, um, that moisture in your skin to zoom in and zoom out. And to take a photo it's just a button and it actually says take photo or flip. So that just saves it to the gallery. And then within the gallery you can then share that with family and friends. So very helpful. So here's the gallery here. So these are some photos that have been shared. Um, so I can go in and I can, that's actually my lovely mum. So I can like or love that and that message will go through your mum to let her, uh, to the person that sent the message to me to know that I've liked to, sorry, I said that badly. So when I click that I like a photo, the person that shared that photo with me can see that it's been liked. So yeah. And then photos can be shared with people as well within your social network. So, and again, there's a description down there, which you can see, and you just go scrolling through your photos. Oh, that's the first one. Yeah, and you can hear that sound. So, as I mentioned before, quite often there's a sense that you're not quite sure what you've clicked. You can turn that off if you want, um, but it's there as a standard feature. Weather, very simple and straightforward weather, which is the weather at the location of the phone. And I love the radio feature. So the radio feature is very simple and straightforward, which has a whole hundreds of radio stations here. So you basically choose the one you want and you literally just play it. Oop, turn it off and on. So as you can see, it's very easy. Then I'll go back. Oops. And music genres as well. So we've got six or so music genres in there, which are popular for, for this generation, which is nice. We know music is a is proven to be um, healing in terms of dementia and and uh, so yeah we include a lot of music in there. You can upload your vaccination certificate and of course your COVID tools, the torch I've shown you and then there's that health page that I told you so you click on that and it goes straight through to our call centre. There you go, there's the family and friends edition there. So yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to show you. Um, again, I'm going to stop at this point in time and see if anybody has any questions. And whilst you're having a think about whether you've got questions, I'll tell you about the cost of this phone. So this one is $699. So it's $100 more for the family and friends edition than the help and text edition. So $699 to buy the phone. And then the subscription for Big Purple Phone is $59.90 a month. And that includes unlimited calls and texts within Australia. And then, uh, and because there's a lot of data used in that, includes unlimited data. The difference between our data plan and other plans that you might have with a phone is there's no um, there's no hotspotting. So the data that we provide with the phone is really for the phone. So um, that's fifty nine ninety a month, and that includes um, the SMS, uh, sorry, the SOS feature, the app, which I'm just about to show you. Uh, the Secure Family and Friends Network, the SOS calling, unlimited calls, and SMS. So you get quite a lot there for $59.90. Okay, we're a quiet bunch today, so no questions, which is which is fine. Hopefully I'm covering everything uh, well for you. Okay. Well, I might move on then to the last part of our demonstration today, which is to show you how the app works. So, share my screen again. Okay, now the Big Purple Phone Administrator app. One of the best things, actually, one of the reasons why people choose the Big Purple Phone is because of our secure network around the Big Purple Phone. Now, it doesn't matter which phone you choose, the calls that you, the people that you include in your contacts are your permitted callers list. So that means that once somebody is on your permitted caller list, callers list, they can call you and uh, anybody who's not on their permitted calls list can't. Now that means that you won't get spam calls and hoax calls and um, call centres calling you from overseas. Um, that is a huge source of distress for many of our seniors and many of us who are seniors. Uh, so that's a great feature with the Big Purple Phone. Now the Secure Family and Friends Network works because of this app. I'm just, I will show, demo it to you in a minute, but I'll just get it up and running. So the, uh, the app allows you to add, basically administrate your phone remotely. So if you imagine you've got, let's say you've got your mum with the big purple phone, on your phone you have an app, we send you a link, you download it, and then your phone and her phone are linked. So you can basically manage her settings for her. 
Um, that is one of the greatest features about the Big Purple phone. One of the things you can do is upload and add all the contacts for her. Now, many of us find that as we get older, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of contacts on their phones. We encourage you to just be very circumspect with the, with the contacts that you add to the Big Purple phone. Make it simple. Make it the contacts that they use from day to day um, and, uh, and make it much easier for them to find the people they want to call. Uh, so with the Big Purple phone and the way the contacts work, uh, so as I mentioned, if you add a contact, they can call you. The senior can call anybody. There's that dial pad you saw before, so they can make calls out to anyone. Um, but only those that are on the phone can phone the senior. So that's the way it works. Again, please ask me questions because I always struggle with describing that well. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what the, what the app looks like now. Okay, so this is my Motorola. Okay, so I am up here in the corner. So down here, I have three phones that I'm administering. So Grandma, Granny 3, and Libby. Now, they would be three big purple phones being with three different people. I'm going to just click on Granny 3. Sorry, it's a bit hard with the contrast here. I'm just trying to get it right. Now, you can see, if I can just get the line right for you. So I was trying to try get that right. So you can see, right, that pretty much mimics what's on the big purple phone. So you can see they're the icons that you've got on the big purple phone. Now, these toggles on the side here, you can turn on or turn off any of the features on the big purple phone. The only one that at the moment you can't turn off is the SOS feature, but we're going to be adding the ability to turn that off. Um, some of our seniors are trigger happy <laughs> and their families don't want them to be able to press that. So, um, anyway, or they might have another solution in place. So, as you can see, they're all the, um, the features that you see on the big purple phone. So, you can add them in um, quite simply. You can turn off and on the weather. You can sorry, set the radio stations and so forth. Sorry, I'm really in. I do struggle with this, as I say. Okay, I do want to show you this feature here, which is contacts. So add a contact to the big purple phone. Oh, there you go. You just click on add new contact and you add a contact here. And then you can see, you just upload a photo, upload their name, and then you invite them in to be in the big purple phone. So very simple and straightforward way of entering contacts. When you add a contact on here, it turns up over on the big purple phone. So really handy from that perspective. I'm just going to go back. The other feature that's great is the video call feature. So I'm going to make a video call. I'm going to choose the person. And then I just call. I can see that's just fully I won't answer it because it screams if you know you've got two video calls in the same room. So, um, so that's the that's the app. Uh, when you first buy the Big Purple phone, you get a call from us. We arrange a time to show you the app. We walk you through it. We help you add the contacts and get you set up. So it's very simple and straightforward from that perspective. So. That's what I wanted to show you with the um, with the app. Now, we do sell all our phones online. So um, one thing we do offer is this buy it, love it promise. So if you want to try the Big Purple phone, but you're not quite sure if it's going to suit your senior, we encourage you to purchase it. And then you've got seven days to show it to them, see if they're going to like it. Um, and then you can always return it. Um, but it must be within the seven days and it must be in original condition. Uh, the other thing that we offer with the Big Purple phone is it might be um, a phone that works for now, but it might not work for your senior for next year or their needs might change. And if that's the case and you want to leave the Big Purple phone program, but you've got the phone, we will remotely restore it back to a Nokia. So um, it's one feature is you don't have to save the program. It's a month by month program. You can cancel any time. There's no contracts. So. That brings us to the end of what we were have on our agenda for today. I'm just going to see if there's any questions that have come through. And I might just ask Guy if there's any questions that have come out from your end or people messaging you or things that you've thought to ask during the course of the presentation. Um, nothing has come through on my end, Libby, but um, yeah, I think we, we've covered all bases there. So um, yeah, guys, if you've got any questions, please, please chuck them in the chat um, and we will 
endeavor to reach out to you via email um, after the presentation if we've got your details, just with a little bit of a follow up um, to see if there's you know any additional questions you might think of uh, at a later time. Great, thanks, Guy. Oh, okay, great. We do have a question that's just coming in the last few minutes. Thank you, Janet. Um, can you add reminders via the app? Yes, you can. Actually, I did say that I would show you that, didn't I? I was just struggling with the um, with the angle of it today, so um, let me show you how you do that. So here on the app, you scroll down, and there are two types of reminders. There are, oops, did I miss it? Right there, right? Yeah. They're down the bottom. <laughs> so you can do birthdays and anniversaries here and reminders. So if I want to add a birthday, I pop that in. I've got two birthdays that I set this guy's birthday. Um, so add a birthday, <laughs> add a birthday there. You just basically put in what the event is, a birthday or an anniversary. You select the date and you give it a title, you add it, and then that pop-up turns on on the right day for your senior. So um, that's a fantastic feature for birthdays and anniversaries. Let's go back. The other kind is reminders, like daily reminders. This one's great for um, a lot of our customers tell us they use it for um, taking medication, just that it has to be done in the morning and night and to remind that they've done it. So you can set the reminder here. You can see I've set one for 10 o'clock and you can say which days of the week they come in. So there you have the time that you put in, you give it a title of the time there, the title and when it's to repeat. So it could be every day. Um, and then they remember um, what to do. So um, that's a great, great feature. They actually have to touch you saw the big purple um, reminder come up before to take your pills now. They have to touch that to make it go away. So, um, yeah, so that's a good feature as well. Thank you for the question. We always like questions. Okay. Um, thank you, Janet. She said perfect. Okay. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Um, I hope we've been able to give you some more information about the big purple phone. As Guy said, he'll get back in touch with you afterwards. If we can, um, if we can assist you at all, please, um, please do get in touch with us. With our phone number is 02 6998 or you can drop us an email. Anyway, thank you very much for joining us today, and we wish you a happy weekend. Talk to you next time. Bye for now.